Hey guys, Real 111T. I don't usually do sort of political rants, but I wanted to make a video because in the last week I've noticed a couple things in the uh, in the media, and and they're just a couple snippets. I don't even recall exactly the incident, but there was uh, there was a gentleman I guess taken into custody. I guess I'm using the term gentleman loosely. Um, a terror suspect basically and one of the things that they noted I mean in addition to the fact that he had I believe an ammunition stockpile he had what they referred to as a go bag and the thing that really bothered me about it and I heard it on a couple separate occasions on a couple of different news outlets was the tone that the journalists were taking as if it was suspicious as if someone who has uh, emergency preps like it's a sign of something that you should be looking out for you know uh, after Aurora you know when they raid the guy's apartment and they found all that AR ammo you know you, you definitely have heard on several occasions ammunition stockpiling as being a sign of craziness which as we all know is not necessarily true you know it could be simply a matter of market factors and people not wanting to pay through the nose for something when there's a run you know in his case it's because he was batshit crazy but you know the point is is that when you take a look at it as a suspect activity and having emergency preps is recommended by the government among other organizations and it's good sense you know uh, one of the things that really bothers me that I'm seeing more and more is this idea that we need to be reliant on the government to take care of us. It's not really the government's job to take care of us. Okay. If there's a natural disaster, you know, what are your plans? So here's my assignment. Okay. My assignment for you, my well appreciated viewer, uh, the few, the proud. Anyway. Uh, my assignment for the holidays, you know, is to discuss this with your family, okay? The holidays, everyone comes together. The White House wanted people to discuss common sense gun control over Thanksgiving, okay? I don't think that really went as well as they thought it would, okay? But, you know, there's one thing to be talking about Second Amendment issues, you know, to cause an issue at the holidays. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you that during those quiet moments, not necessarily when everyone's singing around singing carols, but those quiet moments you have in the morning with someone who might live out of town or, you know, maybe in town that you don't see very often, when you're sitting around with them, you could have a discussion about what would you do if there was an ice storm or what would you do if there was another hurricane, okay? Because one thing that we've learned is that, you know, by all means, if there's help there, you can take it, but don't rely on it, okay? Don't ever end up in the Superdome, okay? Know when you need to put a plan into action. That not having a plan at all is a problem, okay? You know, uh, Homeland Security says to have a plan in the event of a disaster, okay? You know, th those poor folks in New Orleans who didn't have cars had plenty of time to put a go bag, one of these evil things, if they had one, if they didn't have one, they could have put one together and they could have walked out of harm's way in plenty of time. But they didn't have a plan, okay? They didn't have a car, they didn't have a plan, so they just decide, well, what else are we going to do? Sit here and wait for what? The government to bus us somewhere, right? And that didn't happen, okay? The government is not there to take care of you. Whenever something like that happens, they're very reactionary. You're, you're going to be on your own for at least a few days, okay? So, I mean, if you have a family that's receptive to Second Amendment stuff, you probably don't need to have the conversation. And if you have family members that are against Second Amendment stuff, I'm not telling you to do that. What I'm telling you is, have a plan for yourself. Think about it. And encourage other people to think about it. It's actually your best bang for your buck. You know, a couple of years ago, I did this thing where I tried to give uh, my friends and, and family members 
you know, bits of kit, you know, survival stuff, bug out bag stuff, stuff they could throw in their trunk. I did the 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 Kato or Eton radios. I for all my siblings one year, I gave them all a radio for their birthday. You know, you can do you can do stuff like that. You can help people out. But what works tenfold, you know, it's it's the whole give a man a fish, teach a man to fish parable. If you get someone in the mindset where they're looking out for themselves, where they don't think just think that, oh well this is a nice thing, I'll throw this in my trunk and it'll be there. You know. And this is the biggest argument against an off the shelf type of kit that you might buy from emergency essentials or whatever, is that there's a personal investment in being ready. And there's custom things that people might have to do in terms of medications or maybe an extra pair of prescription glasses. They need to think about that stuff. And uh, it's best for them to do that, right? And it's way cheaper for you if you think about it. Way cheaper. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's my assignment. Talk to your family members about what their plan is in the event of a disaster. Okay. Um, it's it's up to us guys it really is people who are making some effort to be prepared you know we need to to spread the word okay because in the end you know uh, you'll have a situation where you know you've got all these preps built up for you and your family and then 50 other people show up okay and you know I, I'm not saying like in the in the Twilight Zone episode I'm not saying close the the door to your friends and family but what you're saying is is maybe you had a year supply of food for your family but now it's only the last two months you know and you know honestly two months probably would be good enough and you would be in the position the luxurious position to offer some help and I guarantee you after a situation like that you know uh, those people would think differently but right now in advance we need to combat the idea that it's a crazy thing to have a go bag or some emergency preps you know I mean yeah that's basically it is is that that idea that having preps is suspect in some way in and of itself okay is wrong and we need to fight it okay because in the end all we have is each other basically so all right guys have a happy uh, have a Merry Christmas okay almost did it have a Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, and one last thing. In this household, we are set for pencil sharpeners.